To write the formula for potassium carbonate, we'll go to the periodic table and potassium that has an element symbol of K. The carbonate we won't find on the periodic table, it's a polyatomic ion, and you can tell because it ends in A-T-E. So we can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, and carbonate is CO3 2 minus. Potassium is a metal, and then carbonate, that's a group of nonmetals. So we have a metal and nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. For an ionic compound, we need to take into account the charges on the element and then this ion here. So potassium's in group one, so it has a charge of one plus, and we said the carbonate, CO3, has a charge of two minus. So these need to add up to zero, which they do not. So we can change the subscripts to help that happen. We'll use something called the crisscross method. We'll move the two here and the one over here. But we don't write the one by convention. We can get rid of that. Let's get rid of our charges. And that's the formula for potassium carbonate, K2. CO3. Let's check our work though, make sure we have that right. We said potassium was 1 plus and the carbonate was 2 minus. So we have one carbonate ion, so the charge on that's 2 minus, and then we have two of these potassiums, 2 times 1 plus, that's the 2 plus there. 2 plus, 2 minus, they cancel out, net charge is 0. This is the correct formula for potassium carbonate. Let's clean it up again. And there you have it, the formula for potassium carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.